This is the picture that we analyzed for the newsies. At first glance, we saw that the boy was giving the man the paper. And once we looked deeper into this, we saw that there was a group of men, that there was paper stacked on some kind of furniture, and that there was garbage everywhere. Then we saw that the, the people that are in this are the man, the newsy, and a, like a cluster of people in the background. And we think it's arranged by this to show like that the man and the boy are in focus, and to show what, that they have to work throughout the night. What's happening in the image is that the boy is obviously giving a man a newspaper. Um, what we don't see is another newsie helping him, or we don't see any money being exchanged. Uh, we think this image was made to show that newsies work into the night, and a lot of them do. And the author and the photographer uh, put in these details and the fact that it was taken at night to show that he does work at night and to make the audience like have sympathy for him. The audience for this image is probably just the general public. Um, the creator wanted you to feel, wanted you to know how the newsies were treated. The presentation of this image does affect how the audience feels because it's nighttime. And if it was lighter out, you wouldn't feel as sympathetic for the boy. When we first looked at this image, we felt bad for the boy because it was night and he was still selling his papers. Um, yes, this does show bias towards the newsie because you feel bad for him because it's so late and he should be in bed. And we can infer that the boy is selling papers to the man. Some questions we had were, who, are, who is the strange group of men in the background? Um, what are the lights in the background? When was this picture taken? Where are the man and the boy? Why are they using an old piece of furniture? How was the boy being treated? And if we could ask the photographer a question, we would ask him whether or not it was an action shot. We would, we would go to a photographer or a boy or another primary source to ask questions. Um, if the boy could talk in this picture, he would be saying, finally, somebody's buying a newspaper. He gave me a nickel. Should I run away with his money? I should. I deserve it. I've been working for hours, and I'm finally selling one. Um, if the boy could talk, he would say, it's late, and I'm supposed to be at home in bed, but I'm out here selling papers. It's definitely not something that I want to do, but it's something that I have to do. So many papers to sell, but not enough time in the day. If the boy could talk, he would say, about time someone got my paper. It's dark, I'm cold, and I just want a break. Working all day, not enough pay. I'll try again tomorrow. I dream of the day I get a high pay so I can quit serving the, the unappreciated people and just be a kid. The boy would also say, I feel forced to grow up too quickly. I'm working late into the night. I'm not a boy, I'm a man. I'm selling papers all day, every day, and I don't have time to be a child. I have to sell these papers. This is the picture we analyzed for the news boys, and this is the thousand words summary. Uh, the first thing we saw when looking at this picture was a group of boys um, standing on the stairs, and we also saw a uh, brick building on, uh, on the side. And uh, when we looked further into this uh, picture, we saw that there's a uh, concrete street in the background, and uh, they're all wearing ties and uh, nice clothes. And uh, they're arranged like they bunch together, like selling papers. And they all have uh, boots and hats on. Like and they all, like, they're all like, dressed fancy, but some like some of them don't have like clothes that fit. And we don't see any people in the picture buying the papers or any uh, adults in the picture. And we need to know like how long have they been on strike. Uh, this image was made to show that there were many newsies. The photographer took this photo to show how the newsies lived and dressed. This photo was meant for everyone to get the word out about the strike. Uh, the photographer wanted his, their audience to feel sympathetic for the newsies. I feel that they are all close to each other and we rallied together as a group to sell papers. Uh, the photo could show 
uh, biased towards women and adults because these. Uh, I can inf never mind. I can infer that they are relatively poor and they are looking for money. Some of the questions we had when looking at this paper were, uh, who are the people standing on the top of the stairs? Uh, what year is it in the picture? When did they start going on strike? Uh, why is there no girls in the picture or adults in the picture? Uh, how long have they been on strike? And some sources you can uh, consult to learn more. Is that a newspaper article? And one question I, um, we had for the photographer was, uh, why did you take the picture? Um, if the subjects in this picture could talk, they would talk about the life they were having. They would talk about the, they would, they would explain the hardships of living in New York at that time period and needing to help to support their families. If they were on strike, they would talk about the difficulty of going on strike. Finally, they would talk about how they were huddled in, together in one group. The subjects in the photograph could talk. They'd probably say, don't be a scab. Don't buy the journal or the loan because um, they don't want you to like, buy the paper that they have to um, that they're going on strike for. And they'd probably also say like uh, how they're not making enough money and they just raise the price. This is a picture of a group of children. The first thing we saw when looking at the picture were the kids. We also saw a crack in the ground, buildings, hats, newspapers, shadows, and windows. We noticed that they were in a group together and that these two girls look alike, so they might be sisters. We saw that most of them were smiling, except for the boys on either side. There were no adults, trees, or grass in the picture. For more information, we would need to know the time period and where the adults are. We think the image was made to show how the children were working. Um, the photographer may have included the details to capture the condition they were working in. I think the audience of the picture were, was supposed to be the people who read the newspapers, and it was made to make them think about how the children were working and what they were doing. When looking at the picture, when looking at the picture, our group felt sympathetic seeing how they were working like adults and not like in school. Um, we can infer from the picture that the kids had just gotten their newspapers and that they were heading out to find a spot to sell them. Here are some questions we had. Who is this boy? Why is he, why is he so upset compared to the other kids? What are they all doing together instead of being spread out? Was the picture taken before or during the Newsboys strike of 1899? To find more information about them, take a look at some newspapers. Um, we would, if we, if the um, boys or the kids would talk, um, I think that this girl would say that um, my sister and I don't like hawking newspapers. Selling crackers is no fun. But we have to. We're just peeps. But we have to be the pigeons to make a few bucks for our family. Um, I am walking around the streets trying to hawk some crokers as I see a girl wearing something funny on her head. I stare at her to see what it is. I think it's a bird nest. At least that's what it looks like. It seems like the girl hawked more crokers than me. I should swipe the blood she has. If this boy could talk, this is what we think he would say. I'm upset I have to sell these croakers every day for practically dip. We barely make enough blunt to pay for hay sticks, never mind food. I don't think I've ever really seen much soft while selling croakers. All the real bleak and clean news you sell most. So not many people buy them from the other peeps. I guess it can be okay though. While selling croakers, you get to be real green and flashy. But overall, I'm not happy. What did we see first? We saw first the two boys standing in the middle of the picture. Now, read the image. What did we see? First we saw these women. Then we noticed the pole. 
and they're on some sort of street or road. What are the people in the picture? First the two boys, and then the two women in the back. We think it was arranged in pairs, as like the two boys again, and the two women. What is the physical setting? We believe it's outside, or it's sunny. What else? There are some shadows, some newspapers. We notice their outfits, and the expressions on their face. What's happening? The boys are holding their newspapers while taking a picture. What do you not see? We cannot tell who the two women are in the back. What do you need to know? Who the kids are and where they are. Who do we think they are? Two newsies. What are they doing? They're probably holding newspapers on their route to sell. When? The late, the late 1890s. Where? Some urban area, probably New York. Why? The newspaper company wanted to take a picture of the two of their newspapers at work. What source might you consult? Wikipedia, Google, or an old newspaper company that might have had newsies? One question for the photographer. Why does the kid on the left look so angry? Was something wrong? Take a moment to reflect on the image. Why do you think the image was made? To show the life of the newsies and how they would work. Why do you think the photographer chose to include these particular details? To show a typical area of where they would sell their newspapers. Why do you think the why do you think this was the audience for the image? We think it was for adults, so they would feel bad and probably buy more papers for the newsies so they could help them survive. Does the arrangement or presentation of the details affect how the audience might feel? Yes, the focuses on the boys who look dark and gloomy will help them produ produce sales. What do you feel when looking at this image? We feel sad for these kids because they had to go to sell their newspapers all day and to earn the little money they could possibly get. What can you infer? We infer that these kids stand out here every day in some sort of rural area in these bad and torn up clothes and try to sell them their newspapers to survive.